This video is for informational purposes only. If you need a professional, contact Whirlpool directly. Thank you. Hi, right, it's Bill's Recycling. Bill at Bill's Recycling. How are you doing today? Today we're looking at a Whirlpool with energy preferred cycle. And there's a little disclaimer there for you. And so the complaint with this one was that it squeaked. And so let's take a look at it. We're going to take it apart here, remove these two screws, and pop the top panel off. And then remove the screws that hold the front panel off here and here. And the front panel will slide up and out. You can see the little hooks right here. And so if we look at it, basically we see a couple of things here. Um, this roller here uh, may be dry, that's why it's squeaking. And so basically what I do is uh, I'll just take a little lubricant. I have a special lubricant if you're interested. I'll sell you my special lubricant mix. You can contact me via email or phone. And I just oil the moving parts here. And sometimes I will oil the motor, but this one looks pretty new, so I'm not gonna oil that. Sometimes things get stuck in the chute here, and they'll make noise down here, but this one seems good. Uh, typically on these uh, machines with the filter on top, People tend to put things on the top of their dryer and then they slide down the chute to get caught in the blower and make noise. Okay, so the other thing I noticed was uh, they didn't clean out their pockets. When you see this kind of thing, you know that people aren't cleaning out their pockets. And what happens is these coins could eventually lodge in your washing machine. They're not so detrimental to your dryer, but they can get stuck in your washing machine and clog up your pump and cause other various uh, problems. So the other thing I noticed was this black stuff here. Now this black stuff here is basically candy or gum. And so there's a couple of things you can use. You can probably use kerosene. You can take a plastic scrubber because you don't necessarily want to scratch this paint here. Um, and so you can take like a plastic spatula and scrape this stuff off. I've actually sprayed a little soap, a little cleaner 409 on here first to try and loosen this up a little bit. Sometimes it's easier just to just fry them off and then they'll just crack off and come off in one piece. Um, so yeah, this, these little pieces of candy or gum will cause black marks on your, on your clothes. So if you, if you have black marks on your white clothes, look inside your drum and you may see this, uh, debris left over from the candy or gum. And then we also see it in here in the drum. And there's a couple of things you can use. Uh, I use the citrus salt, it's pretty good. Uh, and it, a kerosene would probably work too. But uh, you have to be careful because some of this stuff is sort of toxic. The, the citrus salt, salt is not uh, not, not toxic, so to speak. Uh, and uh, I've also poured this in my gas tank, and, and it seems to uh, clean the gas and uh, uh, make my car run a little bit better. I just pour maybe a uh, half an ounce per 10 gallons. <clears throat> and anyway, uh, so yeah, and just t take some of your citrus salt. And then you get a little scrubber and you kind of scrub on it and see if you can get it 
get the stuff off. And so ideally you want to scrape as much as you can off. So I don't have a plastic spatula, but you probably want to get a plastic spatula so that you don't scratch your, your drum. And just scrape that stuff off. And then you will, won't have any black marks on your clothes. And if you oiled your rollers and idler, then you won't have any more squeaks. Okay, so one other thing you can try is you can take a heat gun to heat this stuff up and it may come off a little bit easier. Um, and and uh, once again, you need to scrape as much as you can off first. A credit card or a, a gas card would probably work. Just something so it doesn't scratch the surface. And get most of that off. And then you can take your citrus salve, and then I actually use this stuff. It's phosphoric acid. It's anti-rust osfo. And I'll take a little bit and put it on some steel wool, and just go ahead and go over the spots that I've scraped off. And. <clears throat> and then wipe the barrel out with some regular soapy water. If you use kerosene, you have to be careful to wash out your barrel or uh, rinse it out so you don't have any kerosene or other residue inside. So as you can see here, we have quite a bit of black, burnt, plastic, whatever, stuff on that and so basically we got to get industrial here so take a knife or something and just scrape that stuff off there until that thing's clean and then finish it off with a little steel wool So that's your dryer tip for today. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you, please send me a donation. It's Bill's Recycling Enterprises, PO Box 7021, Eureka, California, 95502. If you need any help, you can call me at 707-445-1591. And you can also send me an email. Z underscore fixitman at yahoo.com. Z underscore fixitman at yahoo.com. Thanks for watching.